Take one. Ow. Take two. Hey guys, Angel Bull here. Now, remember last month I said that I was going to open two boxes of Exodus Booster Pack box? Well, I lied. I'm opening five. Boxes. I ordered four just uh, for more, well, more potential openings and stuff like that. But I also got like an extra box of uh, Converging Chasms. And uh, I was wondering, what in the world's all that about? Well, I'll, I'll put this on still store so that you guys can see what I'm talking about here. It says, happy birthday. Here is a free CC box for your birthday. Jake and Lexi. Jake, Lexi, thank you so much. That, that's so nice. You guys didn't really have to do that. I just... That's very nice of you, thank you. Even though my birthday is not till later this month of uh, this video, I still want to say thank you. That That's very nice. Now the way I ordered uh, these boxes is that like they have a special um, order thing on their website where I can get uh, three boxes of booster packs. And then they just threw in that one. That was very nice of them to do that. And with that uh, order, you can also get some um, Promo edition cards. They're really, they are really neat too. And some I've never owned before, some that I haven't had a chance to grab before, but these are really neat. I'll showcase them in another video, but in the meantime, now how I'm gonna do this is gonna be a little different than what I usually do. What I'm going to do is, I'm gonna unpack all of them. So I'll get the card tarpers out of the way, and then I'll lay them all out, and I'll open them all of, all of them at once, and then that way I'll be able to, to get it done faster, and then just get the reveal really cool. And then I'm gonna have the last one, uh, Galaxy Tide, as the, the last box to open. It's kind of like a special treat to me. Now there is still a bit of a setup I wanna do here. I'm not do, gonna do all the numbers until like the end of the video. So to tally up like what, how many uncommon and rare or, or secret rare holographics I get. All right, so all the card tarpers on these so far are gonna be Bloom uh, Bark gra Grapper for this box top. Oh, hello! Horncrest Ground Gorger. Neat! Oh, I'm not even in frame. What am I doing? All right, looks like it's gonna be another uncommon holographic, which is... Whoa! It's a, holog it's a holographic um, Heart Tree Forge. Neat! And the last one from the Converging Chasms... <laughs> the last one was uh, Chaos Bowl. All right, so let's unpack all these packs. I'm gonna do 12 across, if it can be done. I don't think I'll be able to fit all these on one thing. Sorry, this is gonna take a while. To think that I went to a convention for this card game and I've gotten into it ever since, it's it's really surprising. I gotta say, the first time um, when uh, going to that convention, I just wanted to look around and just have fun. I was not expecting to go back to it, to, uh, to go and um, get a fun card game out of it. Not just me, but also a couple of, uh, and, a, and a good friend of mine too. And uh, we've been trying to get our friends to play this card game, too. I've gotten some of my friends uh, into this card game, too. I helped uh, with some of the common cards I got out of this and some of the uh, holographics that I own at this time. I think standing up is actually hurting me. <laughs> I thought that maybe if I just uh, stood up that this would also help my progress, but no, it's actually hurting my back. And that's the um, last one of half of the cards we've got. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got. You know, I started from here, but I'm gonna start... Actually, no, I'm gonna start from here. So, the holographic card is... Whoa! It's a symmetry. Uh, shard, uh, shard Veil's Onrush. Pay one energy. Freeze all one energy creatures on the field. Frozen creatures cannot attack and... Okay, so basically, if there's a creature on the field that just has one energy, they get, they get frozen. That's pretty much what this guy does. That's... This is my first one that I've ever owned. This is the first one in this, um... In a while, that's pretty good. All right, and the next symmetry is gonna be, oh, sweet, Tanglewood Snag. I've got a good number of this guy, and he is pretty good. Once per turn during your turn, you may pay one life point to reveal one card from your hand, and if it's a symmetry, destroy one energy on your opponent's side of the field. So he's basically an energy destroyer if you're running a symmetry deck kind of thing. And that's the whole thing about the tree uh, with the tree folk is that their ability is reveal where the sh where the uh, shard uh, the shard folk are for freezing. I was frozen today. Aha, nice. Grandiose Infector. I've gotten him a good number of times and I got him again. This is neat. Ravenous Contagion. When this creature attacks, you may move a blank pile of energy from your side of the field to this creature just before the attack hits. Thank you for that. That's actually pretty neat. That's that's one heck of a way to get more energy on him. So yeah, he's a good card and 
They're called uh, Krona, so this might be a new architect they're going to be working on. I really hope they do. Cankerous Kanker uh, Needle Spire. Um, he's part of the uh, Mushroom Folk, uh, or the, my bad, the Mush Folk, not the Mushroom Folk. That's, that'd be too long for it to be there. Uh, poisonous Spore. Whenever this creature battles an opposing creature, while you have less life points than your opponent, destroy both creatures and return all energy attached to back to the owner's hands. Okay, that's interesting. So this is basically, uh, if your life points were lower than your opponent's and they battled, this guy would just return the energy and that creature uh, would destroy the creature. Both of them would be destroyed, but they both uh, have to return energy back to their hands. That's actually kind of an interesting um, ability. Let me reread it again, just in case. It's, okay, so it would have to affect both of you. All right, the next holographic is what? What are you? Hey, Horncrest Cloud Gorger. I got him from a booster pack this time. That's so cool. Actually, I haven't read his effect yet. Uh, I showed the other one, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. Labyrinth of Horns. Whenever this creature attacks, send the top card of your main deck to the graveyard. If that creature, and if that card is a dragon or slither type creature, destroy one energy your opponent controls on the side of the field. So basically, if you were going against your opponent and they had an energy more than you, and uh, you wanted to attack, and you had like a deck that was more focused on dragons and slithers and stuff like that, this would be an energy destroyer kind of guy. All right, what are you? Oh, yes. Mistra Driftwood. He is a tree folk mist form. That's another uh, kind of archetype that's been explored early in the game. And it's kind of um, peeking its head in a little bit, interestingly. Evan Sent Hollow. I think I'm saying that wrong. Uh, when this creature is attacked, you may have your... You may have the attack pass through and hit your life points directly instead. When this creature attacks, you may have it hit your opponent's life points directly. If it does, destroy this creature and all the energy attached to it, attached after the attack hits. So he's kind of a glass cannon uh, in the way of just uh, having him go for your opponent directly kind of thing. But he'll be destroyed too. That's actually a really interesting idea. It's a, it's a really cool idea and concept in my humble opinion. What is pile number seven? Portals collide. I love. Oh, this is a good symmetry. Select one of your common creatures and one of your opponent's rare creatures in play. Those creatures battle. If both creatures were destroyed by battle, your opponent loses one life point. So, if you were running a deck that was more focused on common creatures than rare creatures, and your opponent was more towards like having rare creatures, this would be the kind of thing that you would want to hurt your opponent with. This is this is a really nice card. All right. And so far, we're up to seven uh, rare holographics. That's really cool. Oh, our first uncommon uh, holographic uh, by uh, by Booster Pack. Uh, Starborn Outbreak. Uh, each player performs an immediate deck recycle. Deck recycling in this game is where, like, um, instead of being decked out as an end of game kind of thing, what they do instead is it they just recycle the deck and it keeps going until the per the, post the person loses more life points than the other kind of thing. That's how the game goes. And I, I really do like that. It, it, it really does. It really does just. It really. I like it. All right. Are we going to get another uncommon? What do you got here? No, it's a rare. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is for the people who love playing uncommon creatures. They're the creatures that just have two stars instead of three and one. A Shardvale Carrier. Each uncommon creature in play gains one energy. That's so cool. There's actually a card uh, where. Okay, this is for. Yeah. Um. I forget what card effect it is. It's this card that gives common creatures more energy. Uh, oh, I know what, what it is. Maybe I'll get it in the Galaxy Tide. But it's found in Galaxy Tide. And this is the uncommon version f for that. So I am putting this with my order deck. That's the archetype that's um, part of this game. All right, and oh, we got another um, uncommon. Banner of Valor. This goes well with another creature. This goes well with a creature. If you control Roxanne, the final paladin, on your field, add two energy to an angel in play. So if you have another angel and Roxanne, Roxanne is pretty much kind of like a field wipe kind of creature. And Banner of Valor will help your angel get a little more so you don't have to die. So I like that. <laughs> All right, what are you? Ooh, oh, sweet. Tree Forge Envoy, or is that Envy? No, Envoy. Each common creature in play becomes unaffected by all other symmetry cards for the rest of the turn. So if there was a symmetry that would affect your monsters or creatures or something like that, this is the card that you would want to go for. And I love the art on these. These are so good. All the artists that have contributed so much to this card game. I, I got to give you applause because this was really good. Okay, so this is the last one from this pile. What are you? An you are an uncommon hollow. Starsleet Downpour. This card remains in play until one of your rare creatures leaves the field. 
Once per turn, you may peek at the top of your once per turn, you may peek at the top of your main deck. I'm guessing this is the kind of thing that you want to use to say, like, if you were using, um, if you were using, where is he? I just had him. Uh, this guy. And if, uh, if you were unaware, if, um, if you wanted to, if you didn't know if it was a creature or a cemetery and you wanted to make sure, that would be the card for it. So there's a combo right there. Okay, so next pile, here we go. And you are a rare, yes! <laughs> I geeked about her before. I geeked about her before. Oh man, Angelica the Vast, dual dagger descent. When this creature attacks, it loses one less energy. So when it attacks, like if it had an energy of three, and you were going to for the attack against another person that had a creature with three, instead of losing all three of its energy, it would just lose two because it's attacking and that one just like dies. Now, if someone attacks it, it will still so it will not use its effect. It has to attack, but still. Yay! Yay for Angelica! Alright. Now, what are you? <laughs> yes! I'm not... And this was from a different pack! I, I, this is the done from one pack. This is from another. I didn't mix up anything. <laughs> that's so cool! I don't think that's ever happened before to me. I mean, like, with common cards, maybe, but not like this! This is so neat! Happy birthday to me! Okay, what are you? Uncommon? Uh, Shearing, um, uh, Searing Scorch Grove. It's, it's a, it's really good, it, it's a cool looking card for a Halloween kind of, kind of perspective, too. Along with, the uh, a Wildfire, um, Willow. Oh, it's a Tree Folk Hailfire, that's right! They're both are, that's cool, that's so cool. Alright, pack number four. Four, what were you? Oh, Knight of the Frozen Claymore, uh, Blizzard uh, Brandish. When this creature is summoned, freeze one energy in play. That's that's still pretty cool. It freezes an energy, so it's kind of like if you were... Um, I still don't know how that works, but still. Okay, and you're an uncommon... Oh, Blossom Bark gra Grabber, I already got this one. I got a good number of that one, good gosh. Okay. All right, so the next one... Uh, Snow Bastion Apparition, uh, Snowfall Strike. This creature comes into f this creature comes into play. Fro oh, this creature comes into play. Frozen face down. Frozen face down. When this cre when this card reaches five or more energy, unfreeze it and permanently freeze an opponent's creature on the field. Flip it face down. The frozen creature cannot attack. Or basically, freezing is pretty much like uh, making sure your opponent and you can attack each other and stuff like that. And there are other effects that go with the freeze ability, and it's really neat. It's a it's a neat it's a neat mechanic. Okay, what are you? Ooh, shatter glass owl. It is a shardfolk owl. Ice talon. When while this creature is on the field, whenever one of your common or uncommon shardfolk battles and destroys an opponent's creature, freeze an opponent's creature. So basically, when you have a shard folk that's either your common or your uncommon, I mean, it pretty much explains itself, so what am I saying? All right, next one, what are you? Um, La Step the Glacial Phantom, it's an uncommon creature. An uncommon shard folk mist form. Oh, that's right, they, they keep forgetting that those are a thing. Okay, what are you? Release. Now this card was in, okay, so, in the starter decks, they have a they have a symmetry card called Chains. Chains is pretty much the card that stops you from attacking you, stopping your opponent from attacking, and it is a staple. Release is the countermeasure against that. And um, I, it's funny because I made a com uh, a comment to myself um, off camera that if I ever had one, and if I was going against someone who had just chains, I just throw that in there so that I can just make them mad that they can't use their chains. I am going to do that. Alright, the next card is an uncommon creature. Um, Crystal Veil Sniper. It's a shard folk, and it's a pretty cool looking card. Don't get me wrong, it's really neat. Halfway through, and we're getting some pretty good cards. And I think I had this guy before, but still. Uh, Planetary Crag of the Cosmos. Uh, he is a shard folk, a, a rare creature. Uh, uh, solar Storm. While this creature is on the field, if one of your shard folks is targeted by an effect or ability, wouldn't that be the same thing? Uh, okay. 
Actually, no, an ability from a monster and an effect from a symmetry. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you may change that target to this creature instead. The target cannot be changed afterwards. So, in other words, this guy's kind of like your lightning rod. Uh, for your shard folks. So this is the shard folks lightning rod. And the last one for this, what are you? Another chaos bowl. That's pretty, that's pretty cute. Okay, so that's from the first two boxes. We got some pretty good pulls. So let's continue. But first, let me do the setup so that I can just not worry about fatigue and recording and stuff like that. So I'll let you know that I did so. Ready? And go. And we're back. Sorry that took a little longer than usual, at least in my perspective of time. And uh, forgive me for sitting down because my back was killing me when I was doing the booster, uh, opening the booster packs before. Uh, it was a little easier this time. Okay, so we're gonna go down the line again like last time. So let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like we've got a holographic uh, uncommon tree folk machine called Crankshaft Oak. That's a very steampunkish, I like it, it's cute. Alright, and the next one is Amethyst Void Cap. I've I've ran into this guy a good number of times, and I think I've talked about his ability, Bioluminescent Re Revival. If you have less life points than your opponent, you may activate this ability while this creature is in your graveyard. Summon it. Summon this creature from your graveyard with one energy on it. This ability cannot be used again until after the next deck recycle. I, I have no other comment about that. All right, let me see. What are you? Uh, another Crystal Veil Sniper. So we've already seen him. We've already seen him. Now, have we seen? Oh, Planet Cra uh, Planet Crag of the the Cosmos. We've seen him already. And what are you? Chaos Bull. We've seen him too. So out of this one, um, uh, these are the only two difference uh, that we started with. Angelica again. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, and you are sheer, uh, Searing a, a Scorch Grove, and uh, number seven you are, oh come on, that's not fair, another one? This should be the new Rick Ren, uh, Rick Ren, Rick and Rick Ren Roll, I don't know. Um, a Knight of the Frozen Claymore, I got him again, and what are you? No! I have two of her now! Yes! <laughs> yes! I want to think that this was the booster box that, that, that uh, Jake and Lexi got me. Eee! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, my heavenly army is just building. This is amazing. Okay. There's, there's no way to go. Uh, I, I was not expecting that today. I was not expecting another Roxanne. For the life of me, this is amazing. Uh, Bless and Bark Grapper. This is so cool. I got another Roxanne. <laughs> and uh, Snow Bastion Apparition. Got him again. All right, so next row to go. I got Roxanne again. This is awesome. And you are um, Miss Try Driftwood. We talked about you earlier. You were cool. And you are. Ooh, Clockwork Auto. Automata. Uh, it's a dra it's a dragon machine rare creature. Reverse the clock once per turn. When a card is sent from the top of your main deck to the graveyard, if it is not a dragon or a slither type creature, you may put it at the bottom of your main deck and send the next top card to the graveyard instead. I guess that he works well with uh, with Horncrest with the uh, yeah Horncrest uh, Cloud Gorger. I don't know. I have never tried it out myself to to see otherwise. All right, let me see. And you are, ooh, cool. Overgrown tre Trench Valchasm. This is a creature. It's a tree folk and a mush folk. Um, Wildwood Uprising. When this creature is revealed by an effect, you may send one energy on the field back to the owner's hand and draw one energy. Okay, so basically, they, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like Leech in a way. Uh, it's another, um, it's another staple card of the game. All right, so that's the third one from this one. What are you? I don't think I've ever gotten him before. Ember Shard si Siren. Yeah, this is new to me. Uh, he's a dragon creature. Uh, crisis Burst. When this creature would be discarded from your hand, you may put it into play onto an existing pile of energy instead. 
if you do destroy one energy in play that's something to talk that's a that's an interesting creature to uh, to think about for a deck that's actually pretty good because there's usually some symmetries that require discard so it'd be good to have that guy in because then as long as you have an existing pile that's actually a good card that's actually interesting i've never owned it before but now i do oh Vastian the world's uh hollow he's a tree folk and a wandering refuge when this creature is summoned each player reveals their hand when this creature attacks it gains one energy just before the attack hits so he's kind of like um angelic uh, where is she i know i just had oh yeah angelica the vast only instead of gaining uh instead of just keeping an energy he gains an energy so he would have three he would attack and he would gain it so it's he's kind of like the tree folk version of angelica if i if i think about it right if, if, if that's my thought process about it. Okay, so we got an uncommon symmetry. Uh, scenic uh, s Succession. Uh, let's see. When this card is played, select one of the following rarities. Common or common or uncommon. If you play, if you have more creatures of the chosen uh, rarity in play than your opponent, select two creatures on the field and switch their levels. That... I'm sorry, but that's a really hard card to follow. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows how to do that effect, but me, I have no flying clue. <laughs> All right, pile number seven. What craziness do you have for me? Main deck strike. I like this card. This is a really cool symmetry. Uh, send the top card of your opponent's main deck to the graveyard. So if they were going to do that whole cloud burst ability like before, and they know what they're going to get, you can do that instead and screw them over. Or something to that effect. I don't know. Let me see. You are a... And for us, the Star Shield. Now, she's a pretty cool card. Um, at the start of the game, you may reveal this card from your starting hand. If you do, draw two energy, for, draw two extra cards from both your main deck and energy deck. So if you have her in your hand, you just get two extra cards from both decks. That's, that's pretty neat. Oh, it's a sharp hand, okay. So she's an angel. Now, the thing is that it would be at the start of the game, so she would just be normal through and through. I wonder what would happen if you had two copies of her. It doesn't say that you can only use that. It doesn't? Let me do all Check. Let me see. Um, no. Uh, if you had two of them, I'm sure maybe you can get four cards instead. That'd be pretty cool. Ah, Tangled Wood Snag. I got him already. We... This is a really good start so far. Let me see. Grandiose Infector. Nice. Very nice. Ugh. And what are you? Gankerous Needle Spire. Last one from this entire thing, guys. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Horncrest Cloud Gorger. Last one. Okay, so from Converging Chasms, I am super happy about Roxanne. I know that's a given, but I got another Roxanne. I'm set! Because you're only allowed two copies of cards uh, in your main deck. And I'm hoping to make another angel deck, and with the cards I've got right now, I think I can do it. This is so cool. I'm a little sad that I didn't get, like, a, um... I'm sad that I didn't get the energy card uh, that comes from this uh, starter deck. Starter deck. From this booster pack set, but, hey, what are you gonna do? Alright, so let me put this somewhere that I can remember later. Actually, I'm gonna put it over here. Now, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go over these box toppers. Now, I have not opened this yet, so I don't know what's in here. So, without further ado, let's see what it is. And the box topper for this are, ooh. All right, I know that we've dealt with her before. This is, um, I can't never pronounce card names. I feel so bad about myself. Um, Ephla, the Everlasting Empress. Uh, Miracle Heal. When this creature is summoned, your life points become the same as your opponent's life points. She's a double-edged sword. If your life points are low and, his is, and your opponent's are high, your life points immediately go back to what they are. But if your opponent's are low and yours is high, this, again, is a gamble. This card right here. This card right here. She's a gamble, but she's a good gamble. I like her. And uh, we've got uh, Dream Blossom Dragon. It's a dragon. Uh... Final Flare. When this creature is summoned, discard one card from your hand if possible. If you do, discard one energy from... If you do, discard one energy from your opponent's side of the field. So, if he's summoned, your opponent loses an energy. This actually might go well with the... This guy might go well with... 
with the other guy with the, oh my gosh, yes! I'm already coming up with deck ideas as it is. This is so cool. It works. Okay, so here we go for for holographics. For this one, it is it is a creature. It is Council of the Galaxies. It is an order creature. Uh, when this card is summoned, reveal the top. Oh, it's got a reveal effect. This can go well. Ooh, the Tree Folk Order. This could be an interesting idea. When this creature is summoned, reveal the top card of your main deck. Then put it back on the uh, top or bottom. That's interesting. That's okay. All right, and this holographic is. Uh oh. I've got another of this guy, but this is uh, what's his name? I can't see it. Oh, okay. Endel Endelmore, bringer of victory. He goes well with a, another creature called. Uh, I'll, I'll read the effect. Uh, Vision of victory. When this creature is summoned, search your main deck for one victory keeper of the order and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your main deck. Basically, he's a search card, but he's. He's basically a search card, so that's pretty cool. And this one is a, oh my goodness, a Starbound Glacier, uh, Infinite Blockade. At the start of each of your turns, this creature gains one energy. It cannot attack. So he's not an attacker, he's a defender, but there are card effects where you can like siphon off his uh, energy to other creatures. So this is definitely one of those, uh, he's basically an energy builder kind of guy. All right, and the next one is gonna be, uh-oh. The Altered Art of Dimensional Dragon. Now, Dimensional Dragon is from the starter decks of uh, of the Harmonizers and the Dragonius. I'm still probably saying their names wrong. And this is the Altered Art of it. I personally like the original art of it, but but that's just personal preference. But now I have a uh, now I have a holographic version. Now or I have to look through my folder again in, in case if I don't if I don't. Okay, so this one is. <laughs> Remember I said before, this is from, this guy is from the starter deck as well. And this is his alternate art form, or she. I can't tell if that's a girl or a guy. All right, number six, and you are a, oh man. This is a cool card. Um, his ability, um, or is that a she? I'm gonna say it's a he. Imperia, bringer of the infernos. Uh, when this creature is summoned, your opponent chooses and discards one card from their hand to the graveyard. He's basically a hand destroyer, and he goes well with another card. Is it here? Is this her? Nope, this is an order card. Uh, Cosmic Shield Archangel. Even though it's an order card, it's not an angel. Uh, pay one energy when this creature is summoned. Pay one energy when this creature is summoned. Then you and your opponent send a rare creature on your field to the graveyard. Now, it never specifies getting rid of your energy, so that's still pretty neat. All right, and the next card is... Uh, right before I was about to talk about her, you, you young lady, this is Crystal Command Andro Andro Andromeda. Andromeda? Andromeda. Um, like I said, I'm not good at names. Uh, when this creature is summoned, if you have... Um, Emperor, bringer of infernos, I keep saying the names wrong, on the field, choose one of your opponent's creatures and flip it face down. It cannot attack while it's face down, flip it face up at the end of your opponent's turn. This is the con this is pretty much the concept of where the uh, frozen um play has been um been made from. This is pretty much the reason why that idea got started, so good job. They go there. They go well with like um, with um, angels and maybe shark folks too. So, and this card is Star Buffle Summit. Draw one card from your energy deck. Your opponent draws one card from their main deck. Now, this is a pretty good symmetry. Like I, it, it pretty much says it itself. All right, and you are oh another symmetry. Interstellar Tides. Uh, search your main deck for an uncommon creature and send it to the graveyard. Then shuffle your main deck. Believe it or not, this is actually a really good card, again, for the order monsters, because some of them, uh, besides being rare, there are also some uncommon um, order monsters, and this would go well with that. If you were going for like a style of, um, of uh, oh, what am I looking for? What's that word I'm looking for? Uh, if you want to go for a deck of uncommon creatures instead of like commons or rares, because there are archetypes like that. Let's see, what's this? Oh, it's another symmetry. It is uh, Isles of the Morning Star. Draw one card from your main deck. Your opponent draws one card from that. Oh, this is yeah. Okay, so these two are kind of like um, 
you get a card, you get a card, and they both have the same effects, but reversed. Where one uh, focuses on you getting energy and they get a, uh, a card from their main deck, this one focuses on you getting a card from your deck and they get an energy. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And the last one is another symmetry. Beacon of Worlds. Move one energy from a creature or a pile on the field to another creature or pile on the same field. So this card can, uh, this is basically an energy mover. Like I said before, this is the kind of card you would use to say use on, um, if he, uh, if you had like two or more, uh, you can only have one of these, or two of these, um, I should say. You can siphon off this guy thanks to this card effect to another creature that's on your field. So, yeah, that's it guys. This this is the cards that I got, and I really like the results I got so far, especially with Roxanne. That was just, that was stellar. So yeah, guys, that's it. These are all my um, cards I've got. So thank you so much for watching, and to Jake and Lexi, thank you so much for the extra box. I want to thank the Roxanne one came from you guys. Just thank you so much. And also thank you again for the, um, and also thank you again for the Primo cards. I'm sure that it's something that uh, the box ordering came from. And if you want um, like three booster box worth and uh, it's somewhat cheap, uh, they have a special where you can order those three boxes and it's, uh, for what I've got, it was about $125. And it's not that bad of a pricing for me, honestly. I tried it normally and it was a little more expensive. So I did it uh, this way instead. And I'm glad I did, and this was just fantastic. So again, go check out their website and just have a ball. Grow this community, please. We need, we want this card game to be awesome. And I am looking forward to the next set. And I look forward for another booster box. This time, I think I'm gonna go, um, I think I've been in the castle for too long. I think I need to go back to the, I think I need to go back to the tides. So for next month, Galaxy Tides, we're going to see what we're going to get. With that said and done, guys, I am Andrew Bull. May God bless and just have a good day.